we're just charging up the battery, taking the seat off because it had a tear in it, um, just drying it out because the guy we bought the bike off just washed it, so the seat's a little wet. Um, I just went to get um, red vinyl, so I want to do it in red. I'm going to glue the center glue the material just on the center so it'll stick down because we're going to be stretching it around the sides without doing a stitch like the original one it'll just be a full stretch so we should be okay with this material but work it out as we go <laughs> make another uh, seat later I set the old one so we can make it um, template and I think you give yourself a rough glue area so I'm going to glue the front On that match. side, so yeah, it matched. Because yeah, the foam itself was missing there, a bit out of it because it's an old seat. But you can see foam it when you recover it. Oh no, that's actually meant to be like that. But it'd be for the other seat to go up to it. Yeah, we had the second seat, but we don't. side like it used to have. This rear pleat is about the only way I'm going to get it to look half nice and work without over stretching the vinyl. I'm just working out where my pleats are going to be to make it look the nicest. And I've got to match them on the other side. Make sure we've got enough everywhere. Oh, 
Oh yeah. <laughs> so I said to Bo on the phone before, I said, you have to ask what colour I'm doing it? through the centre. Fortunately, we do have a little bit of a, a divot in the back of the seat where the foam had uh, basically been rubbed away over time. We should have put one back in that side, but uh, well, that's the next one. Um, but it's all been glued, stapled, trimmed back, so it'll fit. May still need a little bit more trimming, we'll just see. Just put the mounts back on, and yeah, we'll see how she fits up and what it feels like. But otherwise, come on, nice.